so now we are seeing the second problem of the static force analysis that is we are looking of how to analyze the slider crank mechanism for a static force system now we have picked up an example where one single force is acting at the piston that is of 2 kN it is acting like this the dimensions are given link number 2 is OA which is 100 mm long link number AB is uh, th link number 3 that is known as that is uh, 450 mm and we are supposed to solve this problem we are supposed to determine the value of torque if I implement the force of 2 kN what is going to be the value of torque so as we started in the first problem we are supposed to identify what kind of force system is there in different kind of links so we will start with the link number 2 link number 2 is having 2 force and 1 torque how it is because 1 force is coming on link number 2 because of link number 3 1 force is coming on link number 2 because of link number 1 so they are going to make a parallel force system or a couple and that is going to be balanced by application of a torque now what are going to be the directions of these force so we will see the FVD of link number 3 link number 3 we have drawn link 3 now it is going to be a two force system that is force on 3 because of 2 force on 3 because of 4 that is what we have written now as two force system should have forces equal and opposite so we have assumed their line of action parallel to the link number 3 and f23 is going to be equal and opposite to f32 and f12 is going to be equal and opposite to f32 but we do not know their arrow heads that is we do not know what what is going to be the particular member member number 3 is under tensile or compressive stage so we'll go to the known forces link that is link number 4 so link number 4 is having now four forces one is in three forces one is acting along the piston that is what is given to us as an external force one force that is coming on link number four because of link number three that is going to be along link number three it is written as f34 it is equal and opposite to f43 as per newton's third law and one of the force is going to be perpendicular to the axis of translation and it is going to be f14 that is because of fixed link now to know the directions of arrowhead of f34 and f14 will make a vector triangle because it is a three force concurrent force system so we'll have a vector triangle this is like this so we'll draw first the known force in the known direction then we draw an arrowhead when we, then we draw a line and then we draw an another, another line so we'll get a closed triangle now we can measure it to find out what is the magnitude of f14 and f34 after knowing the magnitude of it we can make it we can identify the sense of this force as it should be a closed triangle this 2 kN was acting in this direction so f14 will supposed to act in this direction that's why arrowhead is upward then f34 will act like this so that it will become a closed triangle now if you take the proper scale and draw graphically we can determine the value of f34 is going to be something around 2.04 kN once we have determined f34 we can go back to link number 3 that means f43 is going to be equal to f34 but in opposite direction so it is going to be something like this similarly now f23 is going to be like this and because this is opposite to this so this is going to be the direction of f32 and the direction of f12 is going to be like this so as we have done in the problem first we have to determine now what is the perpendicular distance between these two parallel forces that is going to be we'll draw draw a draw paper line here we'll measure this distance h if we do it graphically we'll find this h is going to be 75 mm so the value of torque we can determine now torque is going to be force multiplied by the perpendicular distance now force as we have determined is 2.04 multiplied by 75 it will give us 153 kN meter now how to determine the direction if we see the direction of couple that so is rotating in the clockwise in the anti clockwise direction so torque should act in the 
clockwise direction to balance it so value of torque is 153 kilo newton meter clockwise so this is how we can attempt the question of slider crank mechanism if one of the force is given in the next lecture we will be, we will be covering the principle of superposition when the number of forces are going to be more than one how to attempt the question thank you